This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha, Hawaii. Here I am. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm your dear friend as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from downtown Honolulu from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Today, our topic of discussion will be on a journey towards optimal health and healing. And that's something we all need to take time and learn about, again, optimal health and healing. And that happens when we, first of all, realize it, acknowledge it, and then we start directing ourselves in that direction. It is so, so clear for what we need for our bodies once you put it out there. And so we really want to know, uh, let you know that when we embrace all the areas of our spirit, uh, spiritual, our soul, and our body, that we can obtain this kind of optimal health. And today we are so honored to have a dear friend who's so passionate about health and her journey that she's created. And she's a founder of the Health Journey Hawaii that was established for the purpose of providing health perspectives, options, and general health principles for our spirit, soul, and body. So I'd like to introduce to you Cheryl Toyofuku. Welcome. Uh, aloha, Wendy. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thanks for making the time to be with us with Thank your busy you. schedule. So Cheryl, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, Wendy, I love watching Think Tech Hawaii, all the positive things that you have on this program, very healthy and positive. So um, it kind of re resounds with what I do. I'm a, mostly I'm a mom. I'm a uh, grandmother. I'm a daughter, a sister, a friend. I am also a registered nurse by trade, a former oncology certified nurse. Um, I also was the founder. Um, I'm the founder for Health Journey Hawaii and um, formerly as associate director for the Foundation for East West Medicine. So I'm a health advocate, I guess you could say. I want people to be on a journey towards optimal health and healing in our spirit, in our soul, in mm -hmm. our bodies. So that's basically my yeah. background. So you are a professional in the healthcare environment, mm -hmm. and then you have life experiences because you're a mom and a grandma. So you not yeah. only understand what you should do in the clinical environment, but you do and you practice that at home. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Well, yeah, as a grandma, I have <laughs> children, from, grandchildren from ages 14, 6, 3 years old, and a 1-year-old. Uh -huh. So, you know, to try to keep them healthy, and also my daughter and her husband, and I'm just so excited about trying to help them understand how it, what it takes to keep our bodies healthy. Mm -hmm. And it's not just our bodies, it's our spirit, it's our soul, because okay. fearfully and wonderfully we're created. Spirit, okay. soul, and body. That's correct. So all areas need to be optimally healthy. Mm -hmm. So on your first slide, I, I know I, it has all your little credentials there, so I'd like to pop that up right now. And I just want to just ask you to share a little bit about all your relationships, your experiences, mm -hmm. your affiliations that have equipped you for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Well, in nursing school at the UH Manoa campus, um, I, love go I loved going into nursing because I love helping people. But of course, um, we only learn one perspective, mm -hmm. and my heart is to be able to see the different perspectives. Um, after I graduated, then worked at Kuakini Medical Center for a season, and then transferred to Polymomi when Polymomi Medical Center opened up. And um, at that time, I started to think, I, you know, as a former oncology certified nurse, I started to wonder, there must be other ways to treat cancer, right? and then I started doing my research in what the word says about health and healing, and see, then started to talk to naturopathic doctors, mm -hmm. MDs, but also they had a complementary view of health. So as I started to learn, I thought, my goodness, there's so much out there that I did not learn in nursing school. Right, right. So that really began my journey. And no fault to you. Mm -hmm. I understand a lot of students after they graduate from medical mm -hmm. school, I don't care, University of Hawaii yes. Medical School, Harvard, mm -hmm. Yale Medical, that they don't get or they're not equipped with enough information mm -hmm. about the value of fruits and vegetables right. or just the value of good nutrition yeah. according to better quality of health. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So I just, I guess it's just understanding that area of the need to incorporate the whole person, mm -hmm. spirit, soul, and body. Again, cleansing our spirit, cleansing our soul, cleansing our bodies, and again, feeding it the right nutrients that the body needs, that our soul needs. 
So that's the general health principles that I usually share with family and friends. Yeah, and you know, I remember in one conversation that we had, um, this would be a really good visual for the audience. You were telling me that um, when you were collecting platelets from the blood oh. samples, maybe just share that little okay. story because yeah. that was so clear to me. What we eat is what we are. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so you clearly saw that when you were looking yeah, for samples. Right. And that made the change in my life. Exactly. <laughs> because as a nurse in the hospital, you know, you have donors come in because you have some patients that are on chemotherapy where the blood counts are low. So we ask donors to come in and they um, come in and we lay them down on a bed and then we're monitoring as we pull out blood from one arm, it goes into this plasma phoresis machine that separates the blood cells. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the, we take out the platelets, with the, which is what the patient needs, and the rest of the blood goes back into the other arm. Right. Sometimes the platelet bag would look nice and clear and yellow, and but sometimes it would look sticky and gooey and very cloudy. Mm -hmm. And I would turn to the patient, the donor, and I would say, well, what did you have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> and they would say, well, I had, you know, Portuguese sausage, eggs, the shake, and, and I could see it in the blood. And I, wow. I, I start to think, okay, what does my blood look like? Right. Exactly. <laughs> and that's when I started to make the changes. And each time I did that procedure with the donors, that's what wow. happened. So, so that, I wanted you to share that with the audience mm -hmm. because immediately that they had that quality of food, mm -hmm. it affected the quality of their platelets. Yes. And so that's exactly the greatest visual I always mm -hmm. keep in mind whenever I have choices to make. Right. And now if I kept eating this apple, <laughs> my best friend, my, my platelet bag would mm -hmm. be clear and mm -hmm. probably transparent, translucent, mm -hmm. versus eating the other choice where mm -hmm. you said it was cloudy mm -hmm. and not of the best choice. Right. Well, it's a matter of going back to the garden and eating the phytonutrients and all the nutrients that have been placed here on Earth in its natural form right. to help this body to heal right. and to be optimally healthy. And like I said, the best, the fastest mm -hmm. food ever. So That's this is right. your best Apple food. Apple a day. Keeps the doctor <laughs> away. And let food be thy medicine okay. and let medicine be thy food. Right. And so those are such profound mm -hmm. You know, statements that we heard as a kid and as we grow up, we hear that ah, so cliche. But you know what? If we just follow those simple rules, our quality of life yes, could improve yes, a lot. Could. That's correct? Yes, right. Right. So on the next slide uh, about health and healing with mm -hmm. aloha. That I want you to share with us as a woman of faith living in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Has this affected your personal worldview in life and health choices that you have made for yourself and for others? It definitely has. You know, it's all, it's all about choices mm -hmm. regarding your health, your life, and if it depends on your worldview, how you see things. So it's going to depend on what you take in through reading and what, what you're watching, what you're learning, and what you're actually believing. And so um, living here in Hawaii, we are so blessed mm -hmm. because there's such a calling and destiny for Hawaii, and we're called to live life abundantly. So um, if you think of aloha, mm -hmm. alo, face to face in mm -hmm. his presence. Mm -hmm. Ha, the breath of life. Mm -hmm. So when we were created, created from the dust of the ground, the earth, and then blew his breath of life into us and we became a living being. Man became a living being. Right. So it's health and healing right. with aloha. Right, right. You know, in Hawaii, everyone knows, in fact, it was voted to be the healthiest state in the mm. nation. And by looking at us, you would think we are the healthiest state because the sky is so blue, yeah. the air is so mm. pure, the water is, again, the different shades of blue, and it's just gorgeous. But there are so many different health challenges yes. that people don't see. And so just tell me some of the more obvious ones that are so apparent to the locals. Well, we're really facing a health care crisis, actually, yes. Yes. in our country. Yes. Um, Hawaii, if you think of the olden days, how healthily they ate the poi, the kalo, the bananas, the coconuts. Um, but right now, we're seeing a tremendous amount um, of pharmaceuticals in our bodies. Our bodies are becoming polluted with all the food, some of the food we eat, mm -hmm. the beverages we drink that makes us more acidic, mm -hmm. um, you know, just the electromagnetic frequencies that's all around us. So our bodies are becoming a little bit more toxic. Mm -hmm. So that's what's causing, I believe, the healthcare crisis. So what, what do, do we need to do is we need to look at some of the causes that are causing these health challenges and, and try to start to detoxify from some of these things. And there's ways to be able to do that, mm -hmm. um, to detoxify. Our, again, it's not just our bodies, but you know, there's 
strongholds in our minds, you know, whether it's anger or unforgiveness, bitterness, mm -hmm. those need to be cleansed. That's toxic. Mm -hmm. So in our soul, those are some of the things that need to be cleansed. And then, of course, in the spirit, there's so much corruption and evil sometimes around us. So we need to really be strong spiritually in order to counter some of these things, these health challenges that we are facing in this hour. Right. You know, so I'm, I'm so excited that you're here and sharing your heart. And mm -hmm. that's what it is, is you're sharing your heart with the people that are listening, that there are so many issues and challenges on the outside. And if we, I think the key as well is awareness yes. and education. And so, yes, the audiences of Think Tech Hawaii and with this show as well, mm -hmm. entitled Take Your Health Back, they're going to be privileged to hear how we can make a difference mm -hmm. in our own world, in our own mm -hmm. health, because we have only one body right. or one temple that we should steward it well. And some of us are not doing the best job, but you know, by coming and listening to these mm -hmm. types of shows and getting the information, the wealth mm -hmm. of knowledge from people like you who want to share, mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much one of the first steps. Mm -hmm. And then taking into action what they learn right. here on the, on the station. So I'm so excited that you're here just sharing mm -hmm. that. So on our next slide, it's entitled Health Consequences. Well, because of the health challenges, mm -hmm. these are some of the consequences mm -hmm. where polluted, our bodies becoming more toxic. So what's happening is you see the increase, the rise of heart disease, mm -hmm. diabetes, arthritis, <laughs> cancer, autism. And, um, you know, it, it seems to be that there is such, a, I guess, a perspective or worldview that this is what we do. Go to the doctor, go to the hospital, get all the pharmaceutical medications. But that's um, my passion is to share that there are other options to the consequences that we're facing. Are we getting at the root cause of the diabetes or the cancer or mm -hmm. the high blood pressure, whatever the um, condition might be? We need to get at the root cause and not just treat symptoms but also try to find the solutions and deal with the root, get rid of the root problem right. so that we can have the health and healing that we so long for. And we're all on this journey, myself too, I've gone through a journey to really try to cleanse my body and nourish it with the proper nutrients. Because I didn't, I had to learn this after I graduated from nursing school. Right. So it's not just gloom and doom then. There's oh, hope. No. There's hope, right? Yes, definitely. Yes. There's much <laughs> okay, hope. and that's why we're here. We're yes. giving people hope as they mm -hmm. take their health back. Right, and yes. so um, I, I'm so excited to hear that because sometimes mm -hmm. you just, oh no, what are we gonna do now? Everything mm -hmm. is so against us, whatever we breathe, eat, you know, and, and whatever we do is so not in mm -hmm. our favor, mm -hmm. but you're here to give us some solutions. Oh yes. Right, yes. okay, so on their next slide, it talks about some health solutions. Mm -hmm. and, and what we wanna share with all of you is that we need to take our health back. And yes. that's why I, I chose that title for this because we can take it back. Yes. Once we have the right tools, the tools of knowledge, the tools of health, and finding out some solutions to the problem. But again, first, like you just did with us, mm -hmm. explain to us the problem, and then we're gonna find a solution to what we're needing mm -hmm. to solve. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the solutions that you may help us with on this well, journey? Well, if you to think of the challenges, is that we've given, abdicated our responsibility for our health to mm -hmm. someone else, whether it's the doctors, nurses, hospitals, exactly. and all that. And then we wait till we get we are sick, and then we start taking care of our health. And we've turned to the widespread use of pharmaceutical drugs and chemicals, and um, and we get we don't get at the root cause. So those are the challenges. But now we have the solutions. If you think about the causes, then what are what are the solutions? It's be proactive. Right. Take responsibility for your health. Right. Like you, that's why I love Think Tech Hawaii and what you're doing on your show. Take back. You know, let's take our health back. Right. And you know, it's right there on the slide. I mean, exactly. You have sick care. You versus health care. Right. And so, what do you want? I mean, my ice box, my cupboard looks like the one on the right. Yeah. I don't have anything on the left except olive oil, mm -hmm. and I put um, actually cuckoo nut oil for my face and for remedies. Mm -hmm. I gargle with, uh, if I do need to, I gargle with coconut oil mm -hmm. to extract all the toxins out of my, right. my, 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 my mouth. Mm -hmm. And so all these things, I already practice, so I'm like on track with you, girl. So healthcare reform begins with you. With us. Because with again, us. it's all about choices and we need to take the responsibility and don't wait till right. we're sick to do something right. about it. Right. Right. And, and think that there's natural nutrients that have been put here yes. for this body you yes. know, to heal. 
So yes. again, that's the whole basic things about helping to take our health back. Right, right. and the whole key on that, like you just said, it's easier to maintain mm -hmm. health Correct. than to fix us when we're broken. Right. And so we're here to just give you some tools and some solutions mm -hmm. to guide you toward, towards that journey so that we can just enjoy life. Yeah. And I always tell people as we age, okay, mm -hmm. we can't do anything about numbers. I mean, I'm 60 years old, loving it and going full speed, but it's a choice I made because I want this quality of life. So I'm doing everything possible in my heart and mind to have that quality mm -hmm. of life. And I want others, and same for you, Cheryl. Yes. You know, you're a grandma and you look fabulous. Mm -hmm. And when you look and you feel fabulous, but it doesn't just come. We're working yes. at it, right? Yes. So we're going to take a 60-second break right now. And when you come back, we'll share more about tips on how to look and, go look and feel as good as we do. So join us in, thir in 60 seconds. Mahalo. Mahalo. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po, mabuhay, and aloha. Aloha and welcome back. Here we are at the Think Tech Studios Hawaii with our dear friend Cheryl Toyofuku. In the first half, we just talked a little bit about gloom and doom, about <laughs> the health crisis in Hawaii as well as the world. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen to all of us? But there's hope. And so what we're going to learn more about is the solutions. And we've already dealt with some of the solutions. Mm -hmm. And she had a slide there showing us, what does your home look like? Mm -hmm. Is it a lot of greens and vegetables in your ice box? Or is there a lot of pills in your medicine chest? And so I attested that mine looks like the one on the right. And so it says, healthcare reform begins with you. And so if you want more of this information, just continue to stay tuned and also share this video with others because there's hope at the end of that rainbow. There's a lot of hope, but we just have to take that step towards that direction. So on the next slide, we're going to be talking about health and healing options. And so there are so many health care options, mainstream medicine and alternatives. What do you do for your own health and what do you recommend for others? Mm -hmm. Well, thank Cheryl. you, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, every morning when I wake up, again, it's all about choices. Mm -hmm. I can choose to have this big donut and coffee and or a shake or something, or I can choose to have a healthy smoothie, a healthy shake. So that's why, again, it's all about choices. And so I start the day off with a healthy smoothie, um, plant-based protein, along with some kale and adding in some other things, some other, other things that are in my refrigerator, like on the right-hand side of that last slide <laughs> and not on the left. But adding these things into the smoothie, again, with that plant-based protein powder to help. And um, so that's one choice that I make every morning. Then there's other choices to, again, cleanse my body, cleanse my spirit, cleanse my soul, then, and then nourish it with the proper nutrients that it needs. So mm -hmm. I, it depends. So when you go to a, a lunch, what are you going to choose? When you have your dinner, what are you going to choose? Right. And it's very challenging. It's challenging for me also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you go out and you have to make your choices, but we can do that. We right. can learn what it takes to keep our body healthy and help each other. That's the key. It's educating ourselves, making those lifestyle adjustments, and then helping one another. And I think hanging out, hanging out with like-minded people. Yes. And that truly helps because in the mm -hmm. beginning of my health journey, I hung out with all my local friends. and uh, They're still my friends, by the way. But 
You know, they would say, Wendy, just eat it. It's just another burger. Wendy, just eat it. It's just another chicken wing. Just eat it. Just eat it. And, you know, they didn't realize that I was having many meals and everyone's telling me just eat it. So I had to make a decision. And it was, it's not, it's not an easy one. I mean, because I call it like the devil or the bad choices are all around us. It's just so easier to take the bad choice because it's tastier. It's what we're used to, what is comfort food. Mm -hmm. But I'm speaking to myself all the time, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, what should I eat? Oh, of course I want that prime rib or, you know, but yes, I'll have the salad and I'll have less or no bread. So I'm making a lot of choices, right. you know, consistently. I tell people, if God can change this titter chick from my <laughs> life, he can change you, mm -hmm. okay? Because mm -hmm. I grew up with spam and rice and right. Vienna sausage and right. canned corn right. and all that great white rice. But you know what? In my home at this point for the last 10 years, I don't cook meat pork, beef, or chicken. Mm -hmm. When I go out, I might indulge, or I might say, hey, can I have a slice of your steak? Mm -hmm. But I cut it back a lot. And I'm talking to myself all the time, don't eat it, don't eat it. And yes, in the morning, I start off with a shake, just like you, so like-minded people, girl. Right. Anything that's green in my fridge, I'll throw it into the blender and drink it. Mm -hmm. If I don't start my day off like that, and if I start my day off the way I used to, the whole day is naughty because that starts the day off on that foot, the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. So I purposely make my smoothies every day, mm -hmm. cutting my kale from my tower, mm -hmm. putting it in my blender and drinking it up every morning, starting off my day on the right foot, and it makes life so much easier. Right, you're, so you're right, it's all about choices mm -hmm. and options. And there are options out there. Hey, if I get into an accident and I, I need my leg sewn back to it, then take me to the hospital. There's a the mainstream medicine, There's you know, medication sometimes we need, but there's also alternatives or complementary things that can help, especially if you have a chronic degenerative disease. There's things that, that can help besides whole nutrient-dense foods. Mm -hmm. You have the homeopathics, you have the herbs, you have so many, so many things out there that can help this so body. So many options. Yes, and then of course, again, options in spirit, soul, and body. Right, so again, right. our spirit, there's supernatural healing. I'm a believer. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I've been healed supernaturally you know, many years ago that I developed a physical ulcer right. because I was going through a very, very difficult time. Right. And I, I was, um, you know, I went to a naturopathic type of doctor and I got better, but then it came back because I wasn't dealing again with the root cause, the root issue of pain or unforgiveness or, bitten, or whatever it was. But once I was healed supernaturally, That's that all changed, and wow. I'm so grateful and blessed. Wow. So it's also spirit. And that powers you up. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's why the good Lord put you through that experience, so you can speak from your heart, and you exactly. can share your heart with others. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I've heard you speak many, many times, and um, your audience is just, like, taking notes and just talking to you afterwards because they really, they can relate to you because you were there, and you're healed, and look at how great mm -hmm. you look and how great you feel. And so people want that as well, and they think it's a secret, but you're not keeping it a secret. You mm -hmm. share it with so many others. So on the next slide, it tells us that, um, it shows us a picture of you um, in your talks. Mm -hmm. And I just wondered if you could please share with our audience the health principles that you share at these gatherings. Yeah, well, we need to keep it, try to keep it as simple as possible. So I just share pretty much general health principles. Um, first of all, I, personally for myself, I pray and fast to see what's going on with myself. And then secondly, try to cleanse and detoxify whatever's going on in my body or my soul. And then nourishing and strengthening. Once I cleanse, then it's time to nourish and strengthen the immune system. And then renewing and restoring, renewing our minds, renewing our bodies, our cells, our tissues, our organs. And then educating and adjusting our lifestyles, educating each other, um, and making those lifestyle adjustments that we need. Very good, very good. So, so the first principle you mentioned is pray and fast. So could you just elaborate on that? I mean, what do you do? Do you fast for 40 <laughs> days? <laughs> what well, do you do? <laughs> well, again, you know, it's um, who is your healer? You know, who do you pray to for health and healing? Um, and what does... What, what do you read to help with your health? And I, I read the word that shows me, okay, these principles will help in your process of healing. And then finally, there are, there are hindrances in our own life. Um, you might know the story of David and Goliath. We all have Goliaths in our lives. Maybe it's 
really end stage diabetes or cancer mm -hmm. or something that's um, terminal, we all have giants in our lives or it's something financial or something going on with a relationship that's toxic. So I tend to depend on someone besides myself. Right. And that's good. That's your strength. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, that's the blessing that you have that you can count mm -hmm. on him to guide you through mm -hmm. these times and take him to the prayer, the healing garden where you can just yes. go and cleanse that way. Mm -hmm. You know, the second thing, the second principle you talked about was to detoxify mm -hmm. and to cleanse. And it is so important to begin with that. So how do we start to detox okay, and so cleanse? Great. Thank you. The slide does show the body part. But, you know, um, again, it's cleansing and detoxifying spirit, soul, and body. Again, it's all connected. Right. So there's maybe things you need to cleanse in your soul, strongholds of the mind or whatever. But then actually cleaning the body you start with the colon. Mm -hmm. Because the colon, the microbiome of the, the intestinal tract is so important to keep healthy. So your gut is so healthy. There's a brain-gut connection, actually. <laughs> so when your gut is not healthy, your brain is foggy. So it's important to cleanse the colon. There's many different detoxification programs. Right. I, I personally take one that's called intestinal formula number one and number two. Mm -hmm. Of course, fruits and vegetables help to clean. Right. But there's sometimes you need extra help. And I try to do it seasonally, mm -hmm. which actually vacuums out the stuff in, yes. in there and helps the peristalsis or the movement go better. And I so you get a it. Lot. You do it regularly to get regular, mm -hmm. right? And exactly. that's so important to detox and to mm -hmm. cleanse that way. Um, you know, you, you mentioned the word microbiome. That's like a buzzword. Everyone's talking about microbiome. What is microbiome? I mean, right? And then they also said that your second brain is in your gut. Mm -hmm. And I actually think almost to the point where your first brain, that's your gut. Mm -hmm. Because your gut governs a lot of your well-being mm -hmm. of your body. It kind of just guides your whole health journey mm -hmm. right here in your gut. And people right. don't realize that. Right. And so to be able to detox and to cleanse regularly, it really, really matters for mm -hmm. your quality of life. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Because your intestinal system, you have your villi there. You have the way your nutrients are absorbed. First you digest and then you start absorbing the nutrients into the rest of your whole body. So the microbiome is so important. The, um, when you take too much antibiotics, for example, you know, antibiotics, anti-life. So you want to be able to take probiotics because you, again, want to um, heal your microbiome and make sure that you have the good bacteria as well. So there's so many things that we can learn from each other and how we eat to keep our microbiome healthy, the things that supplements we may need to take, mm -hmm. digestive enzymes or probiotics, prebiotics. So there's things that we can learn from each other and I share some of this at some of the health seminars that I share at. So, you know, later on, um, if anybody needs to, they can get in touch with us and we can guide them mm -hmm. to your talks because it's usually a full room, everyone. And the sad part though, that's I feel is half the room has some issues that they're dealing with and they've come to hear some solutions. But the good part is that they hear the solutions and now they need to take action. So, you know, I always say success is not just being at the right place at the right time, but success is when you're at the right place and at the right time, but you take action. And so that's why when people come to hear you, I think it's very key. On slide number 12, we're gonna jump ahead a little bit. On slide number 12, it um, tells us about your journey. So what is a final reminder that you would like to leave with us on this health journey, Cheryl? I think we're all in a journey, and uh, I believe that the good Lord who created us really wants us to live life abundantly. Mm -hmm. And so on this journey, it's a matter of not just um, principles of keeping your body healthy, but your spirit and your soul healthy. Mm -hmm. And that, that area we all need help with. Mm -hmm. So I try not to depend only on myself, but I depend on Friends like you, yes. but also on the good Lord to help me yes. during times, especially right. in this hour, like we're facing that health crisis we talked about yes. and the doom and gloom things we talked about health. earlier. But then yes. there's so many solutions. Right. There's help, there's hope, there's healing. And so thank you, Wendy, for allowing me to yes. share this. So, you know, you're on point right there. And so I, I listened to you so many times. So I got to let the audience know that what I've done to kind of remedy my, my health journey or help my health journey is I'm going line dancing, mm -hmm. okay? And so that means I'm laughing my butt off, I'm having a good time physically, I'm sweating, I'm detoxing, 
but I'm laughing and I'm having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key. And I look at all the people in that room when I'm dancing with them, they're doing the same thing. They're, and I'm there to share with them some of the answers by making healthier choices mm -hmm. and laughing and just being a positive mind, body and spirit. And you know, of course, asking for blessings from it all yes. that we receive by doing this. So mm -hmm. Cheryl, thank you so You're much welcome. for thank spending you. the afternoon with us today. Mm -hmm. uh, we've learned a lot and we're gonna continue to learn more as we hang out with positive, like-minded people like yourself. So mahalo Cheryl mahalo. for being here. Mahalo, mahalo. Wendy, thank, thank you. you so much. You're welcome.